Welcome to Study Room. In PO Guide Part 1, we have information about franking machine, but there is a lot of changes happened in it. In the exams, they may be asking questions about latest information about franking machine. Thus, understanding the SOP of RMFS is very much required. Hence, we have studied the SOP of RMFS in length and brought out two series for this. Each series contains 25 questions. Please update yourself with RMFS information which replaces ranking machine information available in PO Guide. All the best. Question number one. What is the full form of RMFS? Option A, Remotely Managed Franking Software. Option B, Remotely Managed Franking System. Option C, Rapid Machine Franking System. Option D, Remotely Machine Franking System. The correct answer is Remotely Managed Franking System. Question number two. When was RMFS introduced in India Post? Option A, 16 8, 2008. Option B, 16-8-2009. Option C, 16-8-2010. Option D, 16-8-2011. The correct answer is Option C, 16-8-2010. Question number 3. Dash is a person, a firm or a company performing the work of sending article through a post office on behalf and in the name of third party for mutually agreed remuneration. Option A, Register. Option B, Post Office. Option C, Postmaster. Option D, Mailing Agent. The correct answer is Option D, Mailing Agent. Question number 4. Dash is a person, firm or a company performing the work of sending through Post Office on behalf of third party but in the name of register on mutually agreed remuneration. Option A, register. Option B, post office. Option C, postmaster. Option D, mailing agent. The correct answer is option A, register. Question number 5. Who will be the license issuing authority for RMFS? Option A, CPMG. Option B, PMG. Option C, division head. Option D, manager, BPC. The correct answer is option C, divisional head. Question number 6. Who can be the license issuing authority for RMFS? Option A, independent gazetted postmasters. Option B, director GPO of Mumbai, Calcutta and New Delhi. Option C, divisional head. Option D, all the above. The correct answer is option D, all the above. Along with new license issuing, the license issuing authority for RMFS has a power to Option A. Renew B. Suspend C. Cancel D. All the above The correct answer is D. All the above. The license issuing authority has power to renew, suspend or cancel. Option number 8. What is the full form of DCR? in respect of RMFS SOP. Option A, Department of Post Central Resource. Option B, Department Cash Remitting. Option C, Direct Cash Rating. Option D, Direct Cash Remitting. The correct answer is Option A, Department of Post Central Resource. Question number 9. The funds are secured through a special device known as DASH, which is not open to repair that forms an integral part of franking machine and is completely tamper-proof. And funds registered cannot be changed by any means, physically or electronically. This requires no mechanical sealing. That unit is called Option A, Postal Stock Depot, Option B, Postal Security Device. Option C, Prime Supply Device. Option D, Price Security Device. The correct answer is Option B, Postal Security Device. 
Question number 10. What is the full form of OEMs mentioned in RMFS SOP? Option A. Office of Exchange Management. Option B. Online Easy Management. Option C. Online Expenditure Management. Option D. Original Equipment Manufacturers. The correct answer is Option D. Original Equipment Manufacturers. Question number 11. One of the main conditions of India Post for approving procurement of RMFS from OEMs is Option A. OEMs should be an Indian company. OEMs should have dedicated server in India. OEMs should be registered under Indian Company Act. OEMs should be listed in Bombay Stock Exchange. The correct answer is option B. OEM should have dedicated server in India. Question number 12. A designated officer in the rank of director who shall be a single point of contact to the manufacturer, public OEMs, RMFS center and perform such function as assigned to him in this operating procedure about whom we are talking option a register option b oems option c dcr option d cept once again i will read the question question number 12 a designated officer in the rank of director who shall be a single point of contact to the manufacturer or oems of rmfs so which is the correct answer the correct answer is option C, D, C, R. Question number 13. A designated post office DPO for accepting frank article should be option A, any post office, option B, HOs, option C, LSG and above, option D, double handed office and above. The correct answer is option D, double handed office and above. Question number 14. Customer reference number will be unique number and shall be issued by license issuing authority to the licensee of franking machine which is nothing but Option A. Customer identification number Option B. License number Option C. License identifier number Option D. Authorized posting office number The correct answer is Option B. License number Question number 15. The first digit of license identifier number will have an alpha digit which indicates Option A. Category of PO, public mail office, selected for posting the franked articles. Option B. First letter of the division name to identify licensing authority. Option C. First letter of OEMs. Option D. First letter of the district where RMFS is installed. The correct answer is option C. First letter of OEMs. That is, if P is given, it is Pitney Post. N is given, it is Neo Post. Like that. Question number 16. Dash is the name given by India Post to the new facility of ranking based on RMFS. Option A, DG Frank. Option B, RMFS. Option C, DG Frank Plus. Option D, DOP Frank. The correct answer is Option C, DG Frank Plus. Question number 17. The fee for applying for DG Frank Plus license is Option A, rupees 75. Option B, rupees 175. Option C, rupees 275. Option D, rupees 375. The correct answer is option D rupees 375. Question number 18. The periodicity for which the fee for DG Frank plus license valid for option A 1 year, option B 2 years, option C 3 years, option D 5 years. The correct answer is option D 5 years. 
Question number 19. The licensing authority shall issue the license after verification of the particulars as per checklist given in annexure B and satisfying himself about the genuineness of the application. Procurement of the module of the machine approved by the Department of Post and payment of fee of license. The verification may be carried out through field staff, SDIP, ASPs, PRIPs, etc. No verification shall be necessary in the case of the applicant being a option A, Central Public State Government Office, option B, Nationalized Bank, option C, Cooperative Bank, option D, all the above. The correct answer is option D, all the above. Question number 20. The certificate of license will be issued by option A, CPMG, option B, PMG, option C, Divisional Head, option D, DPC. The correct answer is option C, Divisional Head. Question number 21. The licensing authority shall issue the certificate of license within dash working days from the date of receipt of application for issue of license. Option A, 10, option B, 30, option C, 45, option D, 60. The correct answer is option A, 10 days. Question number 22. After the license have been issued, the franking machine user shall also deposit an advance for first setting for minimum amount of dash into the branch of the designated bank presently only State Bank of India or through any post office having e-payment facility. The amount is option A rupees 1000, option B rupees 2000, option C rupees 5000, option D rupees 10,000. The correct answer is option B rupees 2000. Question number 23. Additional surcharge to be collected if renewal of RMFS not done before expiry. Option A rupees 50, option B rupees 100, option C rupees 375, option D rupees 10. The correct answer is option B rupees 100. Question number 24. The licensing authority should renew the license within dash days if all documents and required information provided by franking machine users. Option A, same day. Option B, within 3 days. Option C, within 5 days. Option D, within 15 days. The correct answer is option C, within 5 days. Question number 25. The license number may be cancelled after expiry of dash months from the date of expiry of the license if licensee has not applied for renewal. However, a notice in this regard will be issued to the licensee giving 15 days notice to explain why license should not be cancelled. Option A, 3 months. Option B, 5 months. Option C, 6 months. Option D, 12 months. The correct answer is option A, 3 months. Friends, thank you for watching Study Room and our next series on Pivo Guide Part 1 RMFS is going to release shortly. Please watch for that. If you want to join to our WhatsApp group, please send your WhatsApp number to our email ID that is Study Room at gmail.com you can also follow us through telegram at t.me slash study room master you can also follow us in facebook group the link already given below please check for our logo and join thank you friends